Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, Hello. welcome back to a very special Hi. segment. It's called Coffee and Conversation. Everyone have their coffee? Yes. Yeah. Of course. So, I'm English, so technically I'm having tea. We're all from the same school, and we're the class of 2020, as you can tell from our hoodies. And there you go. And now let's start with um, Halcyon. If you could introduce yourself and kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and then take turns. All right. I'm Halcyon. I'm Esther's friend. I'm 18. I have the same birthday as Kieran. Uh, I'm the only one with a white hoodie. Yes. <laughs> cool. And uh, I like reading. Yes, that's me. That's me. Fair enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> I nominate Kieran. Oh, uh, so hi guys. I'm I'm Kieran, and I am 19. As Hal said, we have the same birthday. But uh, yes. as I keep reminding you, I'm still a year older. Yes. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm from the UK, and I've been living in Indonesia for now for four years. And unfortunately, I'm just about to leave. So. That's kind of a big move for me, but um, just overall, I'm a massive tennis fan and I play tennis for our school. And yeah, so I support all the tennis people. <laughs> um, so now I would like to ask Anushka. Okay. Hi, I'm Anushka. I'm 18 years old. Um, I've lived in Indonesia for 18 years, so that's basically all my life. And now I'm headed to London to study biomed and besides that i like badminton and baking yep. cool and now i nominate azara hi i'm azara um i'm 18 and um currently during quarantine i've been baking a lot for a good cause and um please follow zpatisserie.jakarta and <laughs> support me help me and help everyone in need so yeah that's a very lovely introduction, yes. everyone. So, um, you know that we're the class of 2020 and we're practically the damage of the coronavirus. So, how do you guys think that this pandemic has affected us in general? Halcyon? Um, I think the downside is obviously we can't really see our friends and we didn't really get to do our exams some people are happy about that some people are not i'm like meh about that mm -hmm. but i think there's also uh, a lot of good sides you know i've i've got new hobbies i'm sure you guys have new hobbies zara she she's baking and all that stuff i'm i'm gardening so mm -hmm. i like it yes it's fun it's fun i mean i think for me i think similar to how like it's been quite, almost quite a surprise and a bit of a shock that um, all of a sudden we don't really have school anymore. And that, of course, when we all planned our last year of school, we all, we all expected kind of a big graduation, a big final formals. However, this has kind of been taken away all of a sudden. And for me, that was kind of like, wow. And then of course, there was a the whole thing about doing online learning and how quickly we had to adapt because of course all our courses were nearly finishing and then we were beginning to revise in class and just trying to adapt and then all of a sudden as soon as we got used to that then the IB exams being cancelled altogether. For me that was kind of like a big wake-up call like actually this is now a perfect time for me to get ready for university and to kind of mature and learn how to cook, learn how to do a lot more cleaning around the house and to be honest, just to spend more time with my family. I mean, I'm never going to get this time again. I know now because I'm going off to university, I won't be able to go home as often. But I think just having this time, it's just been quite nice, even though there are many people dying and it's really bad what's happening outside. But regarding my family, it's really nice just to have a connection with them and try to solve this issue. Oh uh, Yeah, same for me, because like I'm learning how to to use a washing machine or cook stuff for university that I've never done before. Um, yeah, and just like planning about university. Well, for me, I'm not even sure I'm gonna go in October, but 
like I'm just keeping hope that there is a hope that I can go. Yeah. Um, of course, same like everyone else, I've been learning how to cook as well. And I finally learned how to use the washing machine. And now I know how to how to clean my bathroom. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing every day right now, mostly in the weekends. Um, just, you know, doing the things, the little things that's really important for university. Um, of course, also spending time with my family. It's, it's really rare that we have everyone in the house. Moving on, um, I want to ask you guys, what are some of your high school highlights? Everyone has that one special high school moment. What are some of you guys' high school highlights? Um, I think for me, there was, there's been quite a few. I mean, well, there's probably a huge list, but just to point out a few, I think, first of all, just coming to the school when I came in year 10, just everyone being so friendly. I mean, that was such a big change for me because I've been in previous schools when maybe I wasn't so accepted just because of who I am or just because I've moved to been in a few countries already. So I think the school was just, a, just really nice and really accepting. So I think that was a big thing for me and doing school plays and experience proper um, kind of theatre and with some really good directors and teachers. I think that really helped. But also, I'd like to um, kind of just say, um, doing my IA gold, that was a big thing. And even though I'd done bronze, I felt the gold was really um, just an incredible experience. And I got to climb an amazing volcano within Java. And I found that really exciting. Just the sense of community within school. Like you can really be whoever you want to be. You can take up sports. You can do the, you could be in the theatre. You can do music. You could be a site. You can do your science things. You can do your math competitions. I think just the overall general feel of being in the school community. I don't have an answer as good as that. The highlight for high school was probably... I've had some fun with my friends. I think that's a highlight. Like in, in classroom. <laughs> and I haven't done that much outside of the classroom. I guess uh, it, it's... The most memorable memories are probably the memories where... Uh, I had a lot of fun with my friends, yeah. either messing about in class, which I'm not supposed to, and sort of in recess, you know, break time, all those, all those times. I think those are actually some of my fondest memories. Sure. Everything else is sort of like a blur. In class, it was just like learn and then stuff and then test and then learn and then test. But other than that, <laughs> I think high, school, high school was, it was fun. It's fun sometimes. Yeah. That's, that's me. That's me. I think for me, um, it's obviously spending time with my friends and being able to just get to get to know them better in person. Also, being um, closer to them. Now I'm actually well closer to those I didn't really expect that I'd be close to. Um, also, just. You know, having those extra lessons with teachers, I find them fun, to be honest. You know, some everyone has different um, point of views, but that's mine. Um, just as Kieran said, ha being in the school environment itself, just enjoying really like the last, well, few months, I guess, of high school. I know that this year it's, you know, it's not the same. And I really like, because I miss school often and now I kind of regret it obviously and like skipping classes because it's what I'm currently missing at the moment just being with everyone and the environment itself so um I think for me there's like a lot of memories to choose from but what stands out is like Komodo Island the one we did in grade 13. Uh. I feel like <laughs> oh. I feel like that would have been a really good um last day if we were ever told that we were going to have a last day um, and yeah and I was really fortunate to have amazing teachers um, like Miss Sir um, with all her stories or Miss Matthews um, with like her cake when she said that she was going to leave oh. and yeah and and Miss Ken well, oh not Miss Ken well, well yeah her too <laughs> but Miss <laughs> Kim, um, Kim and Mr. Metters getting yeah. us drinks yeah that was really fun um, what was, what is Komodo Island? Never heard oh, of that. Yeah. What? I thought you did it though. 
So we did it. The, the slide thing, thing you remember? Is with Miss McDonald? Swimming pool, <laughs> obstacle <laughs> course, the swimming pool. When did we do this? Obstacle course? You're 12. When? When did you do this? Was it year 12? Did you do it at the oh, end of the year? Maybe, maybe I was probably on IA Gold. Oh. If it was last week, I was on IA Gold. Yeah. Missed out. That, that. That's like that's like <laughs> that's like the peak of of life there. If you miss yeah. the motor, it's um, like down. Excuse me, I was on top of volcano, an active <laughs> volcano. <laughs> the top of Komodo <laughs> Island floaties is like the top ever. For sure. Yeah. I mean, I missed out then. Yes. You missed out so much. <laughs> Maybe I'll go and see if the school's open and they, they can get it out for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a once it's a once in a, a once in a lifetime, right? Yeah, we should sure. do that again. Yeah. Like graduation. It's really fun. I a hundred percent agree. Yeah. So um you guys, I have a question. If you guys can choose one subject to study your whole life, what would you study? Well, for me it's bio because you know that's what I'm doing later. But also I really like English. Yeah. So it would be either English or bio. For me, I think, think it'd be theater. No matter like how much time and effort is needed, but I just feel that theater, studying theater for my whole life would be the best choice that I made, I hope. <laughs> yeah, it's theater. I'll go next then. Uh, <laughs> I think for the rest of my life, I'm thinking like, if it's for all eternity, I'd probably Ooh. learn something. Uh, that is deep. English, English literature is sort of, ah, nah, let me change that. Probably, <laughs> probably, uh, I'd probably take economics. I mean, I'm taking economics for university, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it specifically for like all the theory that you learn yeah. in economics. Half of it are just smart people thinking like their ideas will work. But having yeah. stuff doesn't work. Uh, in reality, I, economics is a lot like global perspectives because it's it's mm -hmm. just all about uh, how humans interact with other humans. And I think uh, taking that subject or or I don't know. This is a hard question. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Here, what about? Oh you? yeah, I can answer. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, for me, I think I'm kind of agreeing with Zara a bit. I mean, with my job that I'm kind of planning to do when I'm older and what I'm studying at university, I think theatre would really help with my hospitality. And theatre has always been part of my life since Same. year three. So, but um, if not theatre, and so I'm not saying I've, I've been on and off about theatre my whole life. So who knows where that will go. But um, if not theatre, I think global politics, just because it's such a, you never know what you're going to learn in global, global politics, it changes. The course can change so frequently. And when you sit the exam, you can write about something that happened yesterday and you still get the marks. So it's a course that's always changing and you can always adapt it. So I think for me, if I had to do that forever, then my, my knowledge about history and about current affairs would be so relevant and everything is going to, it's, it's a subject that will always keep adapting. And I think for me, that would be really beneficial. So you guys, how do you guys think that this pandemic has affected us as people and how has it shaped our character towards, you know, just little things like, for example, not getting a public graduation or not doing our last exam. How do you guys think it has affected us? I'll speak, I think, not doing the final exams. That's easy. That's nice. Not doing final exams. I think that's, I think that's, that's like everyone's I, dream. I, I, told, I, told, I told some of my family like, oh, I'm graduating without exams. And then they're just like, I wish I was you. I mean, it's nice. It's, it's comfortable. Uh, not having a graduation, I think it has its downsides. But yeah. to be honest, I'd rather not take my exams and don't like get a physical graduation than have to take all those exams yeah. and get a physical graduation. That's just me. Cause yeah. I knew I, I would have to like, the amount of time I would have ha had to isolate myself from people just to get the grades that I want to get. That would, uh, in my opinion, that's probably not worth it. Uh, but I think- For sure. I mean, I kind of agree with Hal. 
regarding that. I mean, the school have said that they are planning to do something and they've set a date. However, to what extent, we don't, we're not really aware of yet. But um, hopefully within the next few days or within next week, hopefully we'll hear a little bit more about it. Mm -hmm. But I kind of know they've been trying to push it. And I know one or two people in the year group sent a few emails and got us to sign a few forms in order to push for things to happen. I think that's really important. When they said the exams were kind of finished, even though I was really happy, part of me was kind of like a little bit down as well because I thought the exams would be a perfect time to show kind of this is what I've been doing. I've been working really hard to the build up to the exams and my teachers were kind of noticing um, my grades increase and I could really feel like I could have got to my best potential towards the end. So I think for that, it was a shame to not finish the exams. But just like I said before, it's been a perfect opportunity for me to grow in other aspects. And I think I've really taken that opportunity that we'll obviously never have, hopefully never have again. So regarding for me, I think, it's been up, I've been up and down. You, there's, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. I mean, if we're talking about character, what has this pandemic done? I think uh, for a lot of us, we just find that we're taking up hobbies that, you know, we might stick with these hobbies for the rest of our lives. Yeah. That we, that we didn't necessarily know we were going to, we weren't even interested in these hobbies before. You know, like for me, I started gardening, bro. If, if <laughs> two years ago, someone asked me, Hal, are you going to garden? I'd be like, heck no. But like now, gardening's the bomb. I'd rather like, garden than meet people. I don't know how true that is, but yeah. I think, I think the pandemic is, you know, there's a lot of upsides when it comes to like uh, bad times, you know. I mean, obviously the, the, the bad things outweigh the good things, but at the same time, it's like, for us, especially we're, we're very privileged people. So we don't have to necessarily go through uh, harder times than other people who, you know, they're struggling with finances, they're struggling with, oh, where's my next meal? And they have to go out, you know, yeah. to be in danger. So we're at a, for us specifically, I think we're at a really uh, privileged spot. And I yeah. think that does a lot for character. For other people, I think maybe uh, it's a lot harder for them because they're sort of uncertain. They're really not sure if they're going to live another month or two months, you know, because they don't know where their money is or where their food is and all that stuff. So I agree with you. I also feel that actually, just to point out a little bit, that throughout this whole pandemic that has been happen happening and has been affecting each and every us, it really taught me to, you know, just appreciate the little things in life, yeah. you know, just be grateful for what you have. And just, you know, it's the little thing that counts, which sometimes before this pandemic, I'm just like, oh, yeah, just whatever, you know. But now I realize that it's actually the ones that, like, matters most. So I agree. I agree. Because I was listening to a podcast the other day and... Um, I don't know if you know Jay Shetty, but he was talking about like how everyone's more patient, more, you know, like accepting change in their life. And uh, it kind of helps with self-development because if we didn't have this, we would just use our work or whatever we're doing in our life to kind of block out the mental development you need. So it's like a really good time for you to, you know, grow. And for me as well, because I feel like if I didn't have the two months of my life, I would be cramming about like, you know, just planning for university and like how I would live and everything. And it's also like um, made me meet a lot of people in Imperial. Um, I've met them over Zoom and it's given me like a lot of time to make friends even before I get to university. All right, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's I, a lot I, of positive yeah. things. So um, we don't want to bore the people who are watching. So just to kind of wrap it up. We're bored? We're that bored? <laughs> wow. <laughs> just to kind of wrap it up and, you know, be a little bit more um, childish because we're high school people because we've been sounding super duper mature this whole podcast. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to be mature. We're mature. <laughs> I want to ask you guys if you guys can give one advice on something that you guys didn't do in high school 
that you feel like, oh my God, I think people should do this when they're in high school? Ooh. What would that be? I got one. Oh, that's so one. difficult. I got one. <laughs> God. So, I never, I never did activities. And I just, oh, okay. read, <laughs> I wish, the only I one. read that so much. <laughs> Bro, do activities. I don't care if you're a loner or if you're someone who thinks they can't get it, bro, just try out because you're going to miss out. At the end of the day, people think that exams matter and they're, and they're the things that will set you up for life. The chances are, you know, you do the, you do the reading. Half of the people who, who take a degree at a particular university and take it for that major, they don't even get a job in that major. So, bro, like, stop stressing about your life in 20 years and just, just do those activities and, and don't <laughs> skip school. I have a particular question. Halcyon, why have you never done any activities? You barely come to school either. Bro, because I skipped school. <laughs> <laughs> that's my point. That's, that's what, what I want to point out. Don't miss school. Don't skip school. Don't find reasons to go home early. Don't pretend to be sick or, or yeah. like <laughs> make no. reasons. I regret that. There's going to be stressful wow. things, but at the end of the day, the stressful things are there to actually teach you. That sounds so cliche, and that's just because I'm mature. But, uh, <laughs> that was supposed to be a joke. Nobody laughed. I did. I did laugh. We all were all laughing. <laughs> but I think, I think I'm, I didn't do activities just because I felt like, oh, it's a waste of time. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to get something from it. But I think. Those activities are really there to, you know, don't underestimate the power of like memories. Yeah. Because it's, it's, yeah. I, I, you know, I wish, I wish I just spend more time, you know, focusing on sports, focusing on all these things than just, uh, you know, I hate how teachers would always say like, oh, time management, time management, but it's genuinely the most important, mm -hmm. one of the most important things. Like, bro, just do your homework on the day you get it and then like spend an hour on that. And then after that, chill. Yeah. Spend time with your family. Get a girlfriend or something. If not, you know, don't care. I'll see you're the only taken one on this podcast, Halcyon. We're all single here. <laughs> the single club, Halcyon. That's why. Experiment. I mean, nah, just focus on school, guys. Don't don't miss school. <laughs> Nishka, any thoughts? Uh, um, yeah, just like what Halcyon said, live in the present. Don't be so scared of the future all the time because I'll all the teachers were like, oh, your 13th term one's going to be the worst thing in the whole world. Mm. I mean, it was, but, you know, I never um, accepted, like, the good things in life. And even if you know tomorrow's going to be a bad day, just go. Because there's always, like, something good in that day. Yeah. Um, I think I never appreciated, like, like, free periods as well. I kind of wasted that. And sometimes it was good to just lay back and do Uno or Monopoly deal, of course. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, cool. for me, it's kind of, I, I totally agree with all, all of you, what you've said. But for me, I was someone who I like to think kind of did go for a lot of the activities. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just because my parents are teachers and maybe they kind of looked at the teaching and go at, that actually said, okay, the grades don't mean everything right now. So I think I did manage to do a lot within my time and I've done a lot of leadership roles. I've done a few props and I've done the school plays, of course, done my IA gold and bronze. So I think regarding for me, I think it's just don't burn out. Do the activities, but don't pack it all in at once. So and that's something I did. I was kind of busy all the time where I got to a point where I wasn't having any lunch spending all my lunches in meetings and other things like that. So I think just kind of organize yourself so you are doing extra activities, but make sure you have time to kind of just breathe and kind of talk to your friends and have that fr strong friendship groups. And that's yeah. something I think maybe I didn't do as well within BSJ. But um, yeah, just take every opportunity, just take <clears throat> the good opportunities and just enjoy it. Never forget always remember that school is meant to be fun as well. I just want to say like, bro, like stay away from the drama and the gossip and just like chill, just do your stuff. And don't skip lunch, bring your money to school. You know.
Yes. Yeah. Sure. And one more thing from me is when when you think you got an opportunity to get into a sports team, don't let anything stop you from getting that. Because yeah. I mean, yeah. I let a, a I let a small injury get in front of me, and I lost a really important match. Yeah. But just take every opportunity. Like, just go for it. You, even if you don't make it, at least you hundred percent know you tried. So, and that's everything in school. You get credit it for trying and just go for it as long as it's reasonable i'm not saying like do something crazy i'm i'm thinking like, <laughs> I'm thinking like you know be a little late to, to class be a little late to school. before this zoom call shut down um is there anything else that you guys want to say or you guys want to say a message to your friends like hi you guys i miss you or just anything this is my message for for anybody out there garden bro Garden. It's, it's not oh my good. gosh! Oh. Something else in garden. How? By, how? By the way, I've got some leaves waiting for you. I've just collected them. Oh, like yes, yesterday. yes. Are so they they're dead like this, or? Yeah, yeah, they're like nearly dead. They've been yes. like there like a while. So you just let me know leaves. when you need them. <laughs> contact Esther if you have dead leaves, branches. If you have bad soil, contact Esther, and then contact me. <laughs> but I want it. just for me to. Just yes. everyone at Come BSJ. Good. Just, just want to thank everyone at BSJ, even people that I don't know, just for making it the best four years I've had in my school life. And just to all the teachers for obviously dealing with me. Thank you to everyone for making it an amazing time. Thank you so much for everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Please raise up your glass. We're going to virtual cheer. <laughs> oh. Okay. My empty glass. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Cheers.